You are not supposed to be out here. Why, God, why? All right, what's going on, guys? My name is Bailey, but you can call me Bales. And welcome back. This is episode four of our hardcore Let's Play here. Uh, we are making steady progress. Things are coming along, but things are also starting to look a little messy. We got scaffolding hanging out. There's Podzol. I still haven't made these paths. Those dumb, ugly farms are still there. Things are looking a little messy. And I think we should address that before we really progress any further in the village, really. It's time to... I th Listen, we accomplished a lot last episode. We made three whole buildings. So I think we're going to keep it a little bit casual. Just try to clean up the area a little bit. I might make something a little small. But for the most part, we're just trying to clean up the area a little bit. Finally get these paths worked out that I keep talking about. Finally get rid of these farms like I've been talking about. And just make the area look that much prettier than it does right now. Like, what's up with this birch tree? Why is that there? I don't know. What's it? You're not supposed to be here either. So without further ado, let's get to cleaning up. Check this out guys, I just noticed this. As I, was, as I was starting the path here, I was coming for some diorite. I took a quick little gander, check it out. We passed day 300 already. That is wild. I feel like I spent most of my time running around and gathering resources. So I think we're gonna have to start speeding things up real soon here. Um, hey man, I think you got the wrong house. So if you could just show yourself out. This guy is rude. Yep. Uh, oh. Yeah. No, yeah, get out, I'm sure. Well, guess what? Now you can never leave. You're my pet now. I don't know how you got down here. But I do know how you're gonna leave. Uh, 
Alright, I got some... Uh, I always try to shift on scaffolding. I got some... Some rough paths laid out here. Oh, I missed a spot. What a doofus. <laughs> but I got some rough paths laid out here. And now that that's set up, we could add some little details. As you see, I got some extra small little paths extending off. Just to try and get an idea for future builds. I think I'm going to have one coming down around here. But this area is going to be used for the farms. But now I can add some little details, try to make it look prettier. Um, burning through clay that I've been I've been going to this lush cave all the way over there and collecting a bunch of clay and it takes forever to get this much clay in case you didn't know check it out guys we got the paths laid out they're super decorated now but now we need to start adding in some little features and make this area look just a bit more lived in I still want to detail like that house and the starter house a little bit more too but I want to put like a fountain maybe some carts and then I want to put in the farms. I get them all planted, laid out over here. I might have to extend out this hill a little bit, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But this place is really coming along, guys. It's really coming along. Make sure you let me know what you think in the comments down below. All right, guys. It's been a couple of hours. I've been hard at work. Check it out. Got the beetroot farm done. It's the, small, uh, it's the smallest farm, which is why I did it first. But it's also the most useless farm. So I probably shouldn't have done it first. But I love it. I think it looks pretty. I don't know what you guys. I don't know what you guys think. But I think this piece is pretty. Uh, I'm going to do some right here. I'm thinking about like a little flower field. Maybe like rose bushes or something. Or maybe I'll do like a, a market cart or something like that. But it's such a small area. I think that a little rose bush field thing would look pretty cute but once again i stayed up till seven in the morning playing minecraft like a loser no i'm just kidding this is my favorite thing to do i stayed up till like seven in the morning playing minecraft again oh i just realized i should knock out a little area right there and have the path come up and link up right over here i think that's what i'm gonna do and then i think the wheat farm will probably come down from there and circle around it's what it's gonna be bigger than that one probably the wheat farm is probably gonna be the biggest one especially considering we need all this packed mud all this gorgeous stuff right there so i'll probably make the wheat farm at least like twice as big as that and judging how long that one took me that's probably gonna take like all day but that's a tomorrow problem look at these guys it's still pretty dangerous around here which is why I've been putting up all these walls and stuff. Because it's dangerous. And they're not absolutely perfect for keeping mobs out. They can hop over in some spots. But for the most part, you'll be pretty safe standing on the path. Especially with all the lights and stuff around. But we are really... Things are starting to come along, guys. Let's check it out from down below. Oh, I've, I've been killing that lately, too. Yeah, come get some. Come get some. Alright, let's hop through the path. I've been building all these paths and it's clear that I need more entrances to the path. Because I still find myself jumping over it all the time. Pretty much anywhere I can. But, if we take a little stroll through here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Once we have the wheat farm in, like this is starting to look good, guys. And a fountain right here. Oh, I'm loving it. I think I'm gonna put some diorite slabs or mangrove slabs, maybe both, to get up these so you don't gotta jump all the time. I wish there was clay slabs. But as you get up here, oh, oh, oh guys, I'm loving it. Yeah, this looks so good. I just got the chills. I'm so happy with how this is coming out. I think I'm gonna do a little paths coming up to these guys too. I have like nine clay blocks left in my name though. So, another thing that's going to have to wait till tomorrow. And it comes all the way up to my cows and my sheep and my pigs. Up to the farmhouse up here. Oh yeah, and this, this gateway is going to come out into another path. And then the wheat farm will be all over here. Oh yeah, guys. Alright, I'll be right back. 
Like, come on, dude. This is really, really, really coming along. Oh my god. After spending an entire day working on that pointless beetroot farm, I figured I should probably spend another whole day building a more useful farm, and that of course is this here wheat farm. But this thing is going to provide all the packed mud we're going to need for the rest of this village, so it's definitely going to turn out to be worth it. And with that, the wheat farm is complete, guys. Check this thing out. It's just like the it's just like the beetroot farm. It's a little bigger, but I love it. Once we have two more farms, the carrot and the potatoes, this area is gonna be huge. So I think, obviously, we're gonna have to expand out that way. There, look at this guy. There he goes. But so the carrot and the potatoes, they're probably gonna have to go back over here in this area, which means we're gonna have to do some more terraforming, which is just bad, bad for business, guys. Bad for business. Why is it bad for business? Because it takes forever. And remember when I said at the beginning of this episode that I wanted a nice chill episode because I put in so much work in the last one? Well, guess what? This one is taking probably even more work than the first, the last one did, <laughs> which is unbelievable to me. I did, I thought I was just planting a couple farms, you know, place some walls down, and that'll be that. No, this is taking hours on hours. But I hope you guys are enjoying it because I love it. I'm loving the way it's turning out. This I don't know if I said it in this episode or the episode before, but this is my most decorated Minecraft world ever and I've been playing this game for like nine years so thank you to you guys for motivating me to keep doing this but yeah the carrot and the potato by the way dirty little secret I never even finished this hill at all so gonna have to do some more terraforming to try and squeeze the uh, carrot and potato farms down over yonder so without further ado let me get started on that but just look, like walking down this path, seeing these farms, dude. Like things are coming together, yo. Walk out here. Like I said, I'm gonna have to put some more gateways in. <laughs> because like right here, I probably should have put one. Not all the way over here. But the thing about that is, the thing about my scarce uh, gateways. Oh god. Uh, my scarce gateways is it's been kind of forcing me to walk along the path which is you know the entire point but if i have a million gateways like right here for example i can walk in and out that's just the roses but i could just walk in and out i guess that one's not terrible there's some blocks but if i have them say here and here where you could just walk in and out like that um you're not really seeing anything like this this over here to get to this gateway without jumping over the walls you gotta like go up through this path and down through here and then down to this one where we're gonna have like a fountain or something and then you could go through here this doesn't have any gateways this is leading out into the city so this one's probably gonna have one somewhere around here to get into this area whatever I'm gonna put there I don't know yet but then you gotta walk all the way down through here and come around the path and what that's forcing you to do is just be a part of the atmosphere it's like really adding an extra layer of immersion to the world and i'm just having such a great time literally just walking up and down this path as i keep going over here to get uh resources and I'm walking back i haven't even walked this way in a while
but check it out. Like, you, you see what I'm saying? Like, the level of immersion, it just feels so much more, like, compared to last episode, where this building and those ones were here, but there was no paths. You just kind of walked wherever you wanted. Like this one, I would just go straight from there to there. Now you got to go all the way through here and up and so forth. You see what I'm saying? Like, as somebody who's never really done this before, I got to say it's probably the best decision I ever made in my life. Despite how much effort it's taken, it's one of the best decisions I ever made in Minecraft. Uh, you know what, guys? I'm actually going to take a break. I'm going to take a break from the from the farms because I'm a little fried on doing it. I'm a little uninspired. Not that I'm uninspired. I just I just really don't feel like doing more terraforming right now, honestly. Well, at least not that much. So what I am going to do is a tiny bit of terraforming right over here, I think, somewhere in this general area. I might not even have to do any terraforming, honestly. But somewhere in this area over here, definitely got to clear out some trees. I'm going to build a fishing hut. A fishing hut. I know I got cows. I know I got pigs. I know I got wheat. I kind of want to eat fish for a little bit. I mean, think about it. It just makes sense canonically. We're a swamp village. You know, we live in water, even though there's not a ton of water. I should put like a lake or something, like a pond in one of these little areas, maybe over there, or over here. I should definitely do that. Because it, you know, it is a swamp, after all. But, regardless, um, a fishing hut makes sense, you know? It would make sense that these people are eating fish. It just makes sense. That's another reason why I don't have a, a ton of cows or pigs over there. Is because it does, doesn't really make sense. You know, there's a couple. They, they managed to get their hands on a couple. But it doesn't really make sense if that's their primary food source. I mean, granted... Fish sucks in Minecraft. It's not really a good food source, I don't think. It's been a while since I ate it, really. But I don't think it's really that good of a food source. Well, I'm going to farm it anyways. Mostly because I want to build something that isn't a f farm. They're all farms. This game is a game of farms. But you get, you get what I'm saying. I'm going to build a fish hut. It is what it is. Let me get started. So here you can see me building out the dock that our fishing hut's actually going to live on. Luckily, I didn't have to chop down too many trees for the space. It was kind of already a little bit open, I guess mostly because it's on the water. And as you can tell, I left some trees right there along the sides just to kind of keep it separated from the uh, enchanting hut on the other side that we built a couple episodes ago. Now, unfortunately, the replay of me building the actual fishing hut didn't get saved. So I chopped together this sweet montage of me decorating the place. All right, guys, so as you saw, we got the fishing hut all built cosmetically, at least. 
and I think it's pretty cute. It's a lot of wood. It's definitely a lot of wood. But I think it's pretty cute. I'm, I'm happy with it, guys. I really like it. Especially this little area, I think it's pretty cool. And this guy, who you can barely see, once we expand out further, hopefully we'll be able to see him some more. But I like this guy. I've never built anything like this. He's supposed to be like a little fish, if you can't tell. I know it's not great. I think it's kind of cool. I like it. I'm happy I built it. But now it's time for the hard part. We got to build the fish farm itself. Now, if you guys have never seen a fish farm getting built, this is some super complicated redstone. You better make sure you're paying attention because this is hard, guys. All right, ready? I'm going to get started. So first, let me just fill in this area I don't need. Right. Just like that. Uh-huh. Want the light to poke out. Okay. And then we want a trap door or a note block. Then we want regular block, right? Bust this block out right here. This one as well. Put a hopper facing right there. Take a barrel. Just like that. Now what you want to do is put your little trap door right here fence there and weighted pressure plate here and then dump some water and that is a fish farm complete and now you can afk all day long with this thing i don't have a crafting table let me go get a fishing rod all right so now i got my fishing rod let's try this bad boy oh wait oops let's try this bad boy out so you just should be able to just hold right click and fish come to you. They did change this a while ago. See, back in the day, you'd build one of these and get all types of enchanted books and armor and name tags and stuff. But now somehow they changed it. So when you make this AFK farm, you can only get fish. That's fine. I really only made it to have a food source anyways. That was the main purpose. And there we go, our first fish. Where'd he go? And as you can see, it goes right into the uh, hopper, right into the barrel. We got our first salmon. So let me AFK here for a little sec, get some fish, get some... Oh, that's the other thing, is you do get XP from this too, which is super, super, super dope. So I'm going to get some XP, I'm going to get some fish, and I'll be right back. And before I AFK, let's see, I'm at day 368. So I'm going to try and stop by like day 375. I don't want to waste too many days just AFK fishing. But with that being said, I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys. So didn't quite make it to 375. But I did go through two fishing rods. And honestly, it wasn't that great. Turns out you still do get the junk. I thought they changed it so you didn't get the junk anymore. But whatever. I'm not mad at it. But we got a decent amount of fish. Once once I get a uh, enchanted fishing rod, that's gonna work out a whole lot better, I think. I hear a wandering trade around here somewhere. But I also want to put these, some of these guys. Yeah, why not? Just for decoration. But I think to wrap up the episode here. I'm going to build out the path to over here. And then I think that's probably going to do it. We're probably running pretty low on time. So let me get building. And I will show you guys what I did. Guys, just check out the immersion right now. Just walking through the wheat farm. I don't even want to harvest this wheat. It looks so beautiful. I figured real quick before we get out of here, let's take a quick walk through everything we did so far today. But with the shaders, the beetroot, oh my goodness, the beetroot farm, the most useless farm ever. You think I'll ever use all this red dye or ever eat even a single beetroot soup? Doubt it. But we have the farm that lets us do so. I still got to put some slabs in on the path, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Baby steps, guys, baby steps. You come through here. I love the little rose bush section too. This is so gorgeous. I got a bunch of torches hidden underneath for lighting. 
kind of make it glow a little bit try to make it spawn proof too that's the main thing didn't get around to build it. oh oh i'm so sorry i didn't get around to building the fountain yet or any of these carts but once again baby steps we'll get there it's because i wanted to switch gears and uh work on the fishing hut but speaking of which let's head on down this way and check that out now that we got the path installed I left this part open because I think we're going to expand out that way. Probably we're going to, this starter base is now where we're going to live full time. I'm going to build like a mansion over this way and maybe a mine and a library, stuff like that. Often like almost like a separate district. Look at this guy. Hello? I mean, whatever. But yeah, so that's why this is left open, so I can expand out that way. And that path's probably going to expand out there too. And we're going to have a nice little open area right in here. But down here is the newest extension to our path. Comes right under this nice mangrove tree. Love that. The atmosphere around here is so crazy. Then you come up through this nice little gateway. And here we are at the fishing hut. Shout out to the Honeypot Tavern. For providing us with the candles we need we have a nice cute little fishing dock and of course once again got the torches hidden under the carpets it's essential great way to hide lighting especially in hardcore you need it don't want any mobs spawning around here but got the nice little seating area apparently fish don't stay on here once they cook they like disappear or something I don't know, but the fish I put on there are gone, so. This fish is still here, though. This big guy. I've never built anything like this before. It's kind of derpy, but I really like it. I saw something on Google Images similar to it, and I figured I could do that. I like it. But yeah, then the interior. It's nothing too crazy, but nice and quaint, nice and cute. The whole point is to have a farm here. Not really for the interior, but... It's nice to look at while you're farming fish. Uh, I, I'm excited to get an enchanted fishing rod. I'm gonna have to do that as soon as possible so I can try to get more fish because this is pretty much all I got out of two fishing rods, like 40 cod and a, you know, like 12 salmon or something like that. So it wasn't great, but like I said earlier in the episode, I haven't built a fish farm in a long time. And it was a good excuse to build another building for our nice little village. Oh, uh, in the morning time too. Oh man, guys. Yeah, our village is coming to life. Seriously bringing some life into this place. Once we have villagers running around here, which is the end goal, by the way. The end goal is to make this place massive. Massive and safe for villagers to just roam freely around. And we can do all our trading that we need to do. And it's going to be beautiful. But that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. It's been your boy Bales. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.